Hello, my name is Catherine Plaisant and I will present a research conducted at the Human Computer Interaction Laboratory of the University of Maryland in the US. This project explores various mechanisms for scheduling devices such as air conditioning, furnace or VCR. This project had a practical orientation since we worked with a small Maryland company called Custom Command System who design and install home automation system including lighting, security, entertainment and, and climate control in affluent homes and offices. I will show you three prototypes which do not exhaust the possibilities but raise some issues involved in designing such interfaces. The prototypes are implemented in C on an IBM PC80 with an EGA graphic board and a touch screen. A small usability test has been conducted with 14 subjects, mainly retired volunteer and non-technical staff from the university. We also collected comments from numerous informal reviewers. Let's take a look. In this first prototype, the screen is divided in two main areas, one to set a start time and one to set a stop time. So let's say, for example, you are leaving for the weekend and you want on the Friday 22nd to set your furnace uh, back to a lower temperature. So you want the furnace to be turned at a lower temperature, let's say at uh, 9, 20, about 20. And then you are coming back on the Monday, 25th, and you want the temperature to be nice and comfortable. And so the furnace should be turned back on at, let's say, 11, uh, 40 a.m. in the morning. What we saw in the usability test that the subject had no trouble selecting a date thanks to the lift-off strategy that give you a good feedback of what you will be selecting. And people were also very comfortable with that uh, time representation. One, the only, the main problem that we had with that prototype is that some people forgot to turn the PM button properly. In this second prototype that was developed by one of our graduate students, Jeff Mitchell, uh, we used a 24-hour dial, which solved the problem of selecting the right end because there is only one end to move. But on the other hand, the, the problem with that representation is the feedback which is given on the main calendar is often misinterpreted because people forget that they are looking at a 24-hour dial. The third prototype I want to show you, we call it the line scheduler. Here again you have a, a calendar on which you could select a date, like I select the 22nd. And if you want to schedule an event, you grab an on flag and drag it to the line. And the calendar also gives you feedback that the device is on. And then you grab an off flag and put it on the line. Um, the advantage of this representation is there is only one thing to remember. You have to set the flag and you could move them or adju adjust their position or delete them. Like you simply grab a flag and adjust its position or grab a flag and take it off the line. Uh, another advantage of this uh, representation, you could put as many flags on the line, therefore you could schedule many events rapidly. And you could also, uh, because there is two lines, schedule event over several days, like now I selected the 25th, and I will, the device is on on the 22nd, and I turn it off on the early morning on the 25th. Another advantage, you could imagine having many types of flags and being able to set different type of event directly, like a, a one-hour flag and allow you in one movement to select an event. Event. During the usability test, none of the subjects had difficulty using the line and flag representation. Um, the only problem we had was that it's still in this implementation relatively difficult to select something smaller than a 10-minute increment. But now we have uh, developed some uh, stabilization for the touch screen, which allow us to select up to a pixel on an EGA screen, and it would be easy now to add more precision to that um, prototype.
To conclude, I just want to say that we suggested that custom command use the third linear scheduler in their system, and it is now implemented and in use in houses. We are now starting a new project that will be exploring the scheduling of repetitive and periodic events. Thank you.